You've mentioned humility several times here, and, you know, uh, you walk it and talk it. Although I do have to say, we did notice at the end of the Orange Bowl, you might have had a particular thought on the turnover chain of the Miami Hurricanes, Coach. Yeah, yeah I've, I'm not real smart. I mean, I was talking to myself. I could have just said that in my head. But, uh, <laughs> so that was, you were not saying that to anybody in a no, headset? No, that's or? the worst part about it all, is that I could have just thought it to myself. But it's... Uh, not necessarily proud of it, but it's... Uh... You could have chosen a different body part to mention as well to associate <laughs> with the uh, turnover chain. <laughs> Just, you know. There's throwing. a lot of... Uh, yeah, and it was really good when my mom was the first one to tell me what happened. Is that right? She yeah. was, your mom was the one who told you that we could no, read your lips? The kids, but outside the locker room, I, the, my mom was the first one that... You know, so she's been around it, though. She's, she's grew up with it. been around what? Your ass? So you're no. saying? Well, yeah, oh yeah. I was a little kid. She's been around the game of football, so. Yeah, I know, right? We're lip readers out there. We can read your lips. You never know when you're on. <laughs> no, you don't. You never know when you're on. Hey, uh, would you want to? Would you be up for getting rid of the conference championship and then making sure that Wisconsin plays somebody like Ohio State or Michigan State every year? You're not playing them this year, or sometimes you don't play Michigan. Right. I mean, would you be up for something like that? I mean, I do. I loved it. You know, when I was in the Big Ten as a player and as a coach. You know, when you played everyone, right? But it's I, I understand and, and know how we got to all this, and and you know what? I'm not going to be the one that will decide. And so you, you embrace what's in front of you. And, and I felt like, you know, when you get a chance the last two years, we've had the opportunity to play in the Big Ten Championship. And, you know, that every game's a playoff game. And, and anytime you can earn the right to play one more game, that's a great thing. And, and yet I do – you know, there's a traditionalist, I think, in, in me that loved it when, you know, you were always going to play. You knew who your conference was and you were going to play, and you'd have a, you'd play in their stadium, they'd come to your stadium. But, you know, for for a lot of reasons, that it's no longer that. And so you just kind of embrace the way it is right now and, and, and make the most of it, and it's, it's actually pretty good. Well, if you had a choice, would you, have, would you have an 18 playoff? I know I'm talking to a traditionalist here, but would you would you go there? I don't. I really don't spend any time because my opinion doesn't matter. Sure, it does. You're the coach of Wisconsin football. Yeah, but they're not asking me to vote on it. So, well, if you did, if you did vote on <laughs> well, it, I'd have to think about it before I voted, and I haven't really thought much about it. So, okay. <laughs> I think that's Paul Chris saying uh, 18 playoffs. My, you know what? That's what it's, I think. That's what it's. <laughs> I mean, really, it's. I felt like we were in a playoff game every game mm -hmm. all last the whole season and yet um i i i get it and there's always going to be that the odd one out right is you know should they be could they be and and it's uh i think they've that people are trying to make it the best they can. At least I like to think that. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience. 